the workers. I mean, this thing has to be running on something. I guess it makes sense. that thing I opened where the coal fell. It's gonna be just one big puzzle. said before about the slaves or about that people of my size had to be working here maybe the gnomes built this I can't hold them responsible for all the things that's going on here but they must have done it with slaves Shit. Ugh, he's gross. I was hoping for something else. I was hoping he would just... Because it doesn't matter how close I am to him. If he doesn't touch me or hear me he or smell me, he can't get me. But I was wrong about that. Saws and... Vices and hammers.
even turn it off. I wonder if there's a way I can scare him. Oh, that's just that's just fucked. I've seen some pretty fucked up stuff, but just what I thought that was, and then what came out of it, surprised me. But yeah, um, like, cause for me, because he didn't hear me. I felt like it could have looked like I was a poltergeist and I was just haunting him. I think it would be really cool if, like, the DLC, instead of running or outsmarting the monsters, you just outscare them and they get they get spooked instead. Because it's called Little Nightmares, and I, I liked how the ending of the first one I turned into a monster. Kind of. I turned murderous. Or I become murderous. And I start killing all these people who have. who were gonna gonna eat me and everything. He can't see me, but I feel like he could sense what I'm doing. I mean, he doesn't have any eyes, so how would I assume what he's... what he can see? I just can't get up here? What's going on? And I heard there's gonna be a little nightmares too, which I don't know what that implies, but um it, it implies something pretty neat. It could be a continuation of Six's story, or maybe I'll be the main character. I feel like they're scared until they get affection, and maybe my affection is worth more than what fear is to them out there. You can't climb ladders, poor, poor little fella. I never liked ladders. Ladders have always fucked me up. Also, it's a good way to test um, how high somebody is for how long it takes for them to get on a step ladder. Fuck now. Yep, here it goes. Ooh, nice crunch. Crunch 10 out of 10. Landing 0 out of 10. Come on. That was the fastest death consecutively that I've had. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I'm not sure if I should say this 
on recording, but I shaved my legs because I fucking hate how hairy they are. And now I felt my leg. I was like, oh, there's a girl here. <laughs> Hello, female. How are you? How'd you get inside my house? No, this kid's gonna die. He's gonna die if he does that. I wish I could save these guys, but just like the the kid in the original game, it looks like they're just a means to an end. <laughs> they look so cute, working hard. First music I've heard in the game that isn't just completely eerie. He moves faster than me, he's like he's adapted specifically to move people. See, right now it looks kind of scary. Like for him, he must be terrified. Finally, Jesus. Yeah, he already knows. You're a good boy. Full speed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought that was the whole point. That I was that I was gonna use this to gain speed. There he goes. Come here, kid. He's in here, right? I could just drag him out by turning on the machine unless he kills him and then turns him all aggressive and then they all attack me. Fucking kid! So cute. I could tell they had a flaw in this puzzle that now they made it so I have to use both. Because if I use just one. It would be too easy. Because I could, I could just throw the other one across. Well, I don't even know why, why I'm doing this. Because 
there anything over there that is more important than anything in here? Yeah, see? Better move. Oh, this is all for a secret. I wonder what was in the other rooms. Back where where the whole coal machine was. So glad they didn't kill me. They're kind of creepy when they shake like that. They'll kind of look like Pyramid Head. Yeah, I don't see. Unless I just go all the way back with all four of them. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm dopey. I wonder if I'll ever get the chance to see the last character run away from something. It's not one of those eyes eye rooms. I feel like the, the dude is going to come in. That's the kitchen. And that's just a lever in, in a room. That's so cool. I love that. Wow. And now she's gone. So surprised they didn't kill me. <laughs> yeah, he was stuck back there. I don't have a plan with these guys. I don't know how to get out of here. I 
Maybe I need to think differently. That door doesn't have a handle on it, does it? I feel like I could break it. Maybe I could tip this thing over? Three of them for a reason. Why is the secret easier to solve than the actual level? push all the way to the other side. Yeah, I probably didn't have enough manpower to push it over this ramp, but I didn't think about that because I thought the cart was exclusive to the There's a secret. No, I had to leave them after all the help they gave me. Maybe my character can be a hero. And Six is just trying to survive. Anti-hero. I heard that they call the last character an anti-hero, which makes sense. She she only cares about the goal. She doesn't care about like the good, the common good, or the you know the lives of everyone, which is how a lot of people are just in life. I guess still hear him. They must be just as curious as I am. <laughs> they jump at me. I'm not sure if who's gonna be watching, but there's this dog named Coconut on TikTok that attacks their owner in a, a kind of sneaky way. And I think it's really funny. So just look up Coconut TikTok. stay there and then I'll drop them and then they'll work for me as my own personal slaves and they have I been up here yeah this is how I got to the thing I shouldn't have okay I thought I was gonna die again see what their instincts are when they're entering into this room. Yeah, just straight to work. Jesus. Ah, 
Alright, I thought there was going to be another bucket down there, but I guess I'm wrong. I just read a post that daydreaming and uh, imagining your life is uh, mental illness. It's called maladaptive daydreaming, and it's uh, it's the wrong way to uh, to deal with scenarios. So one time, I thought about there's this question about like appeals. Hey, would you rather have ten billion dollars right now, or would you rather have all the knowledge you have now but rewind time and keep all your knowledge? Uh, to the time you were born. So you'd be like a baby with all the knowledge you have now. And I would, I picked the rewind time because my goals are immaterial. And, uh, and, and I thought about it and I kept thinking about all the things I could change. And like I could, I could give people good advice because a lot of people my age grew up to do shitty things. I could uh, I could just start working out and eating right all the time in the in the beginning and have like the perfect health. I could uh, I could like ask girls out the right way and have a bunch of girlfriends and I'll know all these sport tricks and I could be like good at everything because I'm, I, I, I'll have time to train everything. I could start fighting earlier and all this stuff and I was thinking about this and then I got wrapped up in a life. That wasn't mine. There's no creaky floorboards on a steel house, so... He's kinda worthless here. Unless he just fucking touches me. I should probably try to keep my distance from him. Fuck him. Sir Gaylord. What happens if I don't pull that thing? So don't step on the coal blocks, and you'll be fine. And I found out this really cool movie that I want to watch. Well, it has a cool horror monster. It's kind of like a zombie bear. It has like a it's it's, it's a bear, but it has like a long head, and its its skull is exposed, and it's like cut up and stuff. So it's like an undead immortal bear. And it steals the screams of the people it's killed. So, um, there was a scene that I saw on TikTok and it shows the bear. It shows. Imagine if you could feel the heat from the flashlight. But it, I can't see my the floor ahead of me. It shows the bear sneaking up behind these people and it opens his mouth and you can hear like this faint like animalistic scream that's mixed with somebody they knew that was killed and it's so fucking creepy. <laughs> It's funny how it's a chase scene, but I'm just 
running from his hands and not running from anything else. You climb up here, I'm sure. Maybe you can, but I don't know if I can climb these. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. And I was watching The Dark Knight. Or I watched Batman Re Batman Begins and then uh, The Dark Knight, which is the gentleman's way to watch movies. And um, I really liked the movie. Like it's it's not it doesn't have like super uh, well known actors besides Christian Bale and Heath Ledger, obviously. But um, oh and Liam Nielsen. <laughs> um, but, shit, I'm stuck in this room, aren't I? Okay, I'm dumb again. Oh. Get a good look at the room before I place this anywhere. What does this really need to be? Because I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to get up there. So the barrel. Okay, but the because a lot of people that would think it's a movie about Batman, like it's just a superhero movie, but it, it really isn't. It's it's more like a, a battle between ideals and society and things like that. It's it's not about Batman versus Joker. It's about who is doing the right thing. Like who who has the greater message, who has the strongest ideal. And Joker's ideal was that civilization is a joke and uh, people only obey the law because they'll be punished not because it's what they want to do and he wants for he wants there to be no rules so he could he wants there to be no rules so he could see what humans are really made of and he wants to prove to Batman that that everybody, including him, is a sociopath, but they've just been brainwashed by society into believing that they have choice. And then Batman is that the people of Gotham have a soul, and they can still decide what is right and wrong, even though the Joker has made it seem like that people would turn their back as soon as it benefits them. Did I die? No, I didn't. And it's not about Batman. It's a superhero movie, but it has nothing to do with Batman's gadgets and his superpowers powers and his no killing rule. And his no killing rule comes from the fact that he's not taking justice into his own hands, that he's just taking the, the responsibility, but not the judgment. And he brings people to a system that he believes would be judgment. Oh, I didn't even see this. I tried to grab onto the ledge of the door. And, um... Joker has some really good quotes about what it means to be a person and, like, what it means to be crazy and how, cr and how insanity is just a perspective and it isn't it is a mental illness. Saying that Joker is crazy is true, but his mindset is not what makes him crazy. Uh, 
It's his his mind is violent, but his ideals aren't. And it's it's really it's really intense to see, and it's kind of scary because sometimes I agreed with what the Joker said, because I understand that people aren't what they say they are. Like law-abiding citizens, are they law-abiding citizens because they believe in fairness and justice and, e and equal living, or is it because they? Or is it because they would get punished if they chose to live the way they wanted to? Like, how many people would buy a gun and kill somebody if murder wasn't that bad? Like, just the kind of hate that some people have within them against people. Is it... Is it really only held back? from the law or is it held back from the good intention I mean the goodness of humanity compromising evil with reason or aggression with reason or emotion with logic and I really like think about that because it also makes other movies with heroes and villains more entertaining to watch I like the the Joker, the new Joker movie. It has a lot of insight on what it's like to be mentally ill, or just to be in a society that is unfair. And um, it has some good points too about um, that people should have the right to revolt. And they shouldn't have to just succumb to to what society puts them through because laws demand it. And that if you if you're treating being treated unfairly, you have the right to defend yourself. And that's not encouraged today because today if you did something like that, you would get that thing down. Oh, I know how to get it. I tried this in the other game modes, but it didn't let me. revolution isn't encouraged obviously and a lot of people don't know what they're doing when they do have a strike or a revolution or anything like um, they think they understand what's good for society but they don't and we need a good revolution but in a in a civilization this big as the United States need 
ideals that agree with everybody in the revolution because then people who are just doing it because they hate cops unjustfully because there's some cops that really do get away with murder and they take like years to get tried There's politicians who are corrupt, and there's in, uh, there's industries that are corrupt, like the film industry being exposed with Harvey Weinstein, and uh, there's still sex trafficking in the United States, and uh, I feel like the people who do do it are in on it. The people who investigate sex trafficking are in on defending sex trafficking. It just it's just awful to think about. what it feels like for the monsters to chase me. Probably should have followed this one first. Oh, well I guess you can't go through there, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, shit, that dude scared the fuck out of me. Ah, uh, no! The door, the, it's open, dude. It's kind of weird for me to get into uh, political preaching while playing a horror game. But I think it's fake. now. Oh, they're the ones you draw. That would also make sense. I don't know why I thought they were just Dumbos. Yeah, but if they also draw it, then it totally makes sense that they would... They would be the ones responsible for all this artwork.
it needs to rock all the way over there. Here it comes. So exciting. Whoa. This is horror game side finds me. Are you kidding me? Uh, of course. Uh, of course I would have to push it, huh? make it from here. Nope, I fucking lied. That was pathetic. I'm so sorry. So it only sways a certain to a certain point. I guess way's back. So I would have to capture the moment where it's swaying where I need to be. So right there. I should have just waited like fucking five seconds, dude. Moving the controller because I think the the sensitivity might add to the to the boat rocking. But I'm not sure. All this for a little dude. He drew a guy in a hat. He drew some eyes. Come on, dude. Just jump. Okay, thank God. I was gonna have to throw him on the thing and throw him on the other thing and then that would be that would be how I get out of this room. Up, 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 up. Uh loop. Oof. Okay, so what did that do? Do I just have to go in here again? What did I do? Is that the whole reason I did that? Really? What do I do? What? What just happened? Oh, that's creepy. Why, why did I do this? Was I not supposed to? What happened? Oh, wait, I can still... Oh, uh, do I need to bring a lever? What am I doing? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't check this out. It's just a doll. There's a hole in the wall.
am I here for? I'm so focused on escaping the room that I don't look at it. Oh, no. That's what I'm supposed to do. Alright, come on. One of them got the idea. Come on, walk. You too. Line up, private! Come on, you're old enough. I like how they just go limp when you when you pick them up. I don't know my character's name. I found out my character's name by looking up why the fuck I ate one of these things. And now I feel extra bad for eating them in the last game because holy shit, it's almost eleven. Ah, uh, shit, I have work tomorrow. I wonder if he's still in here. Is he even there where I need to go? Can I pull this dude out? I feel like I'm just creating slavery. I'm not saving them. I didn't save any of them. Six save some of them. Say this one at least, right? Let me struggle. <laughs> Amazing. 
shows a picture of them with a tall female. And that's the girl, that's six. This is so peaceful. This is the most peaceful this game has ever been. That even in a place like this, there's still some sort of peace. Just snuggling up by a fire. God. She saw me. Oh gosh, she's so freaky. She's the coolest looking character, but she's so... So weird. So she knocked me out? What happened? Alright, but this is going to be the end of this episode. I had to go to bed. Uh, good night, guys. Uh, sorry if I... Yeah. <laughs>